The first step in installing the Cooler H20620 into the case is going to be mounting the rear exhaust fan. We need to make sure the fan has the airflow blowing out of the case and is acting as an exhaust fan. It can be mounted into any fan spot you have in your case. Here we're going to choose to mount it in the rear. Four screws will actually go through the holes of the fan and extend through. This will hold the fan in place during the rest of the mounting procedure. Next, we are going to bring the radiator up and put it into place. The four protruding screws will in turn go into the radiator holding that into place. The back plate for the Cooler H20620 affixes simply with two adhesive pads and is stuck just onto the back of the motherboard. Mounting of the cooling block and pump for the Cooler H20620 is also a simple procedure. The retaining ring of the Cooler 620 is a round ring with notches going all the way around. You'll notice that the pump and cooling block has corresponding notches all the way around. This will allow us to mount the ring, put the pump through, and turn and lock it into place then tightening down the retaining ring. First step is to just loosely install the retaining ring. You don't want to tighten it, you want it only tight enough to hold it into place. So just to turn on each screw. With the retaining ring in place, the pump itself will go in, slide through, pull up on the retaining ring a little bit, and then just click it right into place. We'll then just tighten up the retaining ring naturally in the next pattern to tighten down the pump and cooling block. With the units installed in place, all that's left to do is the wiring. You've got two leads coming off of the pump and cooling block. One is a power output for the fan. Power lead from the fan will plug directly in. And the power input, which will be plugged directly into the CPU fan power slot of your motherboard. With the Cooler H20620 installed, what you're going to see is, well, first thing you're going to see is your motherboard because there's no CPU cooler obstructing it. You've got a lot more room in here than if you had an air cooler in. That's going to make it a lot easier to work on the case, uh, much easier to change components. The other factor being it's going to allow for a lot more airflow through the case, which will keep all of your components a lot cooler.